All right, let's have some fun with the painting. I'm gonna cover this piece of 300 pound weight cotton rag in water. So just to let this paper soak it in and say prime it for some acrylics. <clears throat> I'm going to be working mostly with a palette knife. I'll also grab this worn out four round and a, um, a double zero round. So that's what I'll be working with. Palette knife and a little round brush. So got some acrylics and see if I can't put a painting together here. Keep it somewhat simple and um, recognizable. I'm using an ultra marine blue and a um, little teal and good old white. I'm not a miss to using white to break apart colors. I want to get this ridge line. This one here, I kind of like where it's at. All right. So what I'm looking at here is, um, uh, bringing in what I want to see. I've got, got some love in the sky. And um, I, may, I may bring that in. Yes, 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 I may. So, um, mostly I'm just going for something fun. Um, I'm not going to get real serious with this painting. Uh, I would like it to be interesting and um, expressive. I'm going to play with a tree. A little more than I wanted to, so let's go ahead and bring that color forward. Uh, uh, we seriously got some wet on wet here. <laughs> All right. So. Uh, See, now I'm going to look at this back hill, so to speak. And remember that I don't want a lot of color in my background. I want it quiet and in the distance. I don't mind texture as I'm working with a palette knife and basically looking at an abstract expressionist here. Um, so uh, just have fun with the paints. And the colors, I'm working with a, um, still working with the teal, and I'm um, working with a light cadmium and a medium cadmium and an ultramarine, and just mixing up the colors so they go where I want them to. The, the blue and yellow making a nice green. I'm using the edge of the palette knife against the edge of things in the painting that I want to leave. And, um, able to pull the shapes in and out and about that I want to keep. So, if I bring some yellow in around that, it's going to bring that dark out. So, I'll throw some yellow in close to this heavy maroon. And then we'll, we'll see that maroon a lot more. Ah. Uh, and it throws some nice dense paint in next to the shoreline here. So that won't hurt anything. And I'll play with the shoreline a little more. And this little spit of land coming out here. I want to lighten it up. With some yellow. Yeah. Some yellow. Now there's a way distant piece of land there. Yeah, that's just going to be quiet and way off in the distance and I need to get some um very very light 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 brown or or uh skin tone 
There we go. I think I think I just found the color I'm looking for. And um yeah, it's turned to almost a gold. Now what I'll bring in with that is this super light yellow and some white. It's a cad light. And um <clears throat> And then down here on the tree line, we'll just grab that teal and some yellow and some white and, and bring in some greens and yellows and, and all that to bring on a tree line. Oh, yeah. So, oh, I've got kind of purple, purple trees right now. Let's see if, um, where that can go. There's. I'll take some yellow and some red and then some teal and I'll get I'll get a bit of a a green and I'll grab some um alizarin crimson red that's the color I haven't mentioned yet alizarin crimson yeah alizarin and I also have some um super dark um Oh, where does that blue come from? It comes from indigo. Yeah, I'm also playing with an indigo blue here. So I can get into the get into the browns I want for trees. This brown's got a lot of green. It's kind of pretty in there. This is the this is the foreground, the, the, the one tree that sets in front. And um, with a palette knife, we stay pretty loose. Um, I don't want the tree to go too tall, so I'm just gonna. Oh ho ho ho! Hide that one. I see. Bring that one in there. That's about about what I'm looking for. That's kind of a really nasty little color. So let's let's just flip all this around. See if I can't get something more interesting. Oh, that's uh, at least it's something to paint around for now. Because basically, what my main goal here, we'll we'll take a serious scratch to this. Is to um, <clears throat> is to play and have fun. It's a complicated piece for um, a palette knife. And I'm seeing that now as I I start playing with human forms. How many people are we gonna put in here? One, two, three, four, five. I know there's a person hiding back in here. Six. And then there's someone... What about someone way in the distance? Way back there. There's seven people. So... <clears throat> thrown in little abstract forms. I throw in skin tones. Um, to see where they're setting and, and what kind of shape they're in. Yeah. And um, if I end up with more people than I want, then... It's the right amount of people for the painting. So... Um, I like people in the painting, um, I like animals and wildlife in the painting, so. This one we'll just worry about little people. Little people here and there. So, then we gotta grab some, some more, more, um, ground tone. Yeah, some, um, earth. I'm gonna bring in some earth down here. And with the earth... We get grounding. We get a little more texture. We get a little more color, and um, we can we can just have fun. So I'm gonna I want I want green. There's no doubt I want green in this foreground. So I'm getting a little little mushy with the brown. So let me let me roll out some pretty serious green here, and get in some green while well, the green's good. Yeah 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 yeah. Crazy colors, crazy colors. But it's um it's interesting and I think it'll work. 
because I can lighten those up with with this yellow and some white and um, it'll it'll make for good in the background because the very background is the same yellow so by bringing it into this crazy um, green I have we'll end up with a lighter green and we'll also end up with a very pretty texture all around these human forms so that's my goal um, fun and texture and and I guess um, landscape intent yeah, there's, I'm, I'm always looking at the landscape I like painting landscapes so there's always not always but a lot of times even in my abstract we find landscape and that's just where it is in my paintings and in my bike rides so it's gonna work it's it's a um I like the palette knife allows for great detail while at the same time I see some some skin tone a miss so let's 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 grab a little bit of the skin tone I got mixed up on the palette and throw in that's not even skin tone that's straight up uh dress so uh, but the skin tone that I look for as long, as long as it's close I'm happy I have fun with the human form especially with a palette knife and um it, it tends to it tends to make a place to um clothe so once everything's painted in i can throw on some clothes and wow there's like these cool humans running around so a lot of times they're just dancing ah uh, dancing humans that's a good thing it's healthy movement get the heart beating uh, and um take care of smiling and happiness and life uh, uh, I like rivers. I like boats. There won't be any boats in this painting, but they're certainly a certainly a body of water coming through the piece. And um, I often paint water in my paintings. I like water. Grew up around water. I always lived near water, and water is essential not only for a place to live, but in the human body. Water's good. I would suggest everybody drink lots of water, copious amounts of water every day. Uh, all right. So it's fun um, filling in with a palette knife. It, it makes for some, some, just some beautiful, beautiful places. You can drag your paint and um, it, it's, a, it's texture, it's immediate. It's immediate, really awesome and beautiful texture, especially if you um, aren't afraid to leave, leave it, and you don't have to see it gone. Uh, so amazing, just so, so cool. <clears throat> so I want a teal tree in the background, and um, we already got most of that tree, so what I'm looking at here is teal and a little bit of yellow, and seeing some seeing some some life grow back here on this tree yeah I want to get something a little darker in near the near the near these ends of these stumps yeah see here now I got some life now let's get back to this really pretty little light light teal and throw it in here ah. yes um the tree deserves life and green blue green i like it it's pretty it's quite quite beautiful sitting there so this other tree i would almost bet on it we're going to cover that with love because something about painting and something about trees and something about love i just tend to bring it into all my paintings there's some love in that sky too i'm going to probably bring in um just just gotta happen it's a good thing, though. It is a good thing. Ah, uh, we'll save the water. Uh, yeah, we'll save the water right now. A little beach line, though. Get a little cad yellow, real light yellow, tiny little bit of a lizard and crimson. And we're going to go back towards that skin tone. 
see if we can keep it clean this time and um, pick up something that looks very very nice for a beach tone <laughs> Well, I don't know how much of this painting you didn't see because I ran low on batteries. So we'll just, that's sad. This has been really fun. Um, I'll just finish it off real quick here because the camera's running low on batteries. So, beach line. Yeah, now we're going to do that in the foreground here too, just a little bit. Just, just to bring in, just to bring in some, um, some earth tone towards the beach, some, some dirt. Yes, yes, yes. And back here, we need to, we need to remove a little of this. Bring in that wonderful light cad yellow and, and get some cad yellow over the top. Start to take away the white of the paper if you get too thick with your paints. And um, I like to let the light through. So it's not too often you're gonna see me um, paint colors over colors. It's, I'll layer and I'll have fun, but I'm not gonna um, I'm not gonna paint people over a painting. I'm gonna paint people on the paper and then I'm gonna paint around them. I'm just not gonna not gonna layer too much. It it takes away from the painting. You need to let the light come through. Without the light coming through, you don't get you're not painting with light anymore. You're painting with paints and you have to paint with light. So I'm gonna get out and. And with this light, bring in just a little more of that green, so it it shows shows green. And we will we will bring out that. That's looking pretty nice back there. All right, we got the people in the foreground. Let's get some let's get some beautiful skin tone and and set them up a little more. Back to this white. We're gonna make like a pink. And I'm gonna grab some yellow, some dark cad. And I'm gonna make an orange light color. And I'm very close to skin tone. And um, some white. Uh, uh, well, I do apologize for the camera quitting. Um, this, this was fun. And um, I hope that when I replay it, it's worth putting on the website, with, even with the, the pause in motion. Um, uh, and um, here's some more. They're, they're getting way skin tone light. Uh. And um, the pellet knife is amazing because it allows not only a really sharp edge, but a nice flat edge to, to, to get expressive with. And some of, the, some, of the, um, some of the absolute shapes that come from allowing, allowing the paint to do its thing, allowing the pellet knife to do its thing is really, really, really beautiful. So we still want this person way back here. Yep, sure do. Uh, uh, see with this this is almost painting on paint back there so because i lost my I lost my little figure underneath all this pretty paint but i'm sure we can bring him back he's right she or he is right there waiting for hair and clothing so what we got going here now is is a pretty cool little painting we're 18 minutes into it already the painting's no more than two inches by and three two less than two inches less than four inches it's it's a miniature i'm um i'm basically bringing in the sky here i'm um uh because the water is a reflection of the sky so so that's basically what i'm doing is the ultramarine blue and the um the teal and the white and i'm just um gonna stay with the the same the same general shape and I'm staying really light because I want all this texture and I want the water to be um, moving and uh, in every direction so so I'm um I'm not a miss to um bringing in the water abstract and fun and um a little always always darker in the foreground always well I can't say always but I definitely use that as a rule is um as things come forward they get darker and as things go to the back they um they tend to um mute out and and blur and you keep some same colors and and in the right light things definitely get darker in the distance but 
it's amazing how things stay light in the distance. Okay, now see that? That reflects the sky. So we'll, we'll stop there and we'll just about call that a painting. So what do we got going here? We got some bright spring colors, some summer colors. We're just certainly going to have to leave the green with some purples and some blues. So, so let's get a blue going here. And how about some blue on you right here? Got a person. Let's, let's bring some blue in. Oh, let's bring some white in. Come on, a little more white than that. Ah. There we go. All right. And a redhead. Let's just do simple, straight up a redhead. So we get under here and, and a little bit of hair. There we go. Let's get some yellow hair. Ah. Uh, i get some white hair. Gotta have a white haired person or two, huh? White hair. Not on that background. There's some white hair. Nice long white hair. That's pretty. Let's get a little more white hair on her. All right. Where's that skin tone? Probably all dried up. I'm, I'm having fun here. Ah, so, skin tone. Ah. So, when I paint next time, I'll have more paints ready. And, um... I'll be able to just grab paints and go. And we'll have fun. We'll, we'll painting will go a little faster. And, um, and it'll be exciting. Some blue and some red. And we get purple. And some purple and some dark cad. And we start to get brown. So we're going to have some brown hair here. here. Whoa, that's some serious hair. Uh, yeah, let's see, let's go for some blonde hair. Yeah. Yeah, you can't even see that because of the wonderful yellow background, as usual. But it was close. It was blonde. So we're having fun. That one just disappeared. We're going to need some more skin tone for that little human. Uh, how fun. Okay, that, that looks very cool. So we need a red. We need something red on somebody here. Yeah, yeah, red. Pretty. Oh my gosh. Very nice, very nice. Something teal. Let's get somebody dressed in teal. A little bit of teal on this person. That's cool. Now some blue jeans. Uh, uh. Okay, well, a little more blue jean. Fill this in. Uh. Yes, 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 yes. And some light blue. Need some light blue. And this person wants some nice light blue back here. Followed by some... Oh, let's go with some... White britches. What the heck? I'll give you some white britches. Very cool. I do enjoy the palette knife. White britches. Alright, and then this person. Nice little child in in oh brown yeah brown 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 and we'll make it a light brown whoa that's really light brown that's purple Maybe a little bit of this there we go cool and we'll see if we can't see him when he's in brown not bad that's pretty darn darn cool and the person on the beach they looked really good in gray that's going to be tricky. There's, an, um, um, there's a close enough to gray. Hiya. It's kind of a teal gray. Yeah, and some white, white, white. Below, just a little bit of white. Nice. And the person in the way back. Uh, uh. Let's see, and she can have some yellow hair. And you can have some red brown hair. Ah. 
Okay, we'll call that a painting. It's, um, it's, oh, you know what? I gotta use brush, and, um, hopefully it'll keep running. Let's, let's check it out. Let's, let's see if I can, um, finish this off for you. It's not quite done. Uh, the piece de resistance, so to speak. I will be going to the double zero brush. And, um, see if I can't bring out some loves. All you need is love. And, um, it helps to have a little more than love. Endurance is good. Um, desire. Faith. Um, empathy. The willingness to work hard and share. Stuff like that. You know what? Oh, um, let's go for it. All right, ready for some little loves. Yes, I am. Um, loves, you start layering things, you start pixeling things, and they start to look really pretty. I've been painting a lot of loves the last um, few years. I um, put love in just about, it. well, I put love in everything I do, but the word love, uh, it's hard not to find in my paintings nowadays. It's just, it's in every one of my paintings. Some paintings are all love, some paintings are not all love, but... Um, love trees they're they're a part of me and um and i'm gonna keep painting them because um they turn out really beautiful every time i can't complain about the love trees um i also like expressive trees just going crazy with trees um um i really enjoy not being meticulous and just letting the paint go and um i look forward to doing that and showing that to you on canvas and on film, uh -huh. um, getting some lighter white here, and I'm so just mixing up some paints to finish this up with. Ah, uh, let's see, love. I'm looking for that point. Yes, well hidden. A little love. Ah, let's hope the whole world and everybody can can share a little bit of anything. Love, love would be good. Love is a healthy thing. Um, a friend said, love is calm. And love is, if you think about it, kind of best when it's calm. Love is many things. Um, uh, and calm is a good part of it. Excitement's a good part of love. Um, unfortunately, there's some other adjectives that people might think are a part of love that I assume not make a part of love. Um, but I'm not going to talk about those. Um, love is calm, love is healthy, and we shouldn't get used to anything but allowing that to be a part of love. Uh, to, to, to take it in any other direction just allows things to happen that might not should. So we'll stick with a love is good. And um, I've lost my purple... I've got this beautiful tone that the tree's painted in, which works out pretty well, but I'm going to have to get some more red here and come back to the purple I want to see. And um, a little more water and loosen this up so it starts to flow. I'm, this is some pretty, um, pretty interesting textures we're getting right now. So that's cool. And let's see, okay, love. Let's put one way up here just for fun. I um, dripped. That would be water. Uh, I didn't drip. The brush did. Uh, that's okay. It's allowed. Okay, just like two or three more loves, and we're going to relax on this painting. Mm. Okay, we're going to 
hit one way down here. So this is like a 25 minute painting, but I like it. I am, I may add some more loves after it dries just to play with this tree. Um, kind of nice right where it sits. I can't, I can't complain. Got some dancing, got some trees, got some life, got some light going on. It would be fun to, um, to, um, See some love in the sky. Uh, so as those are kind of a mess, what I want to do is hopefully use them for their color at the bottom of these, um, oh, love clouds. I'll call them love clouds. And um, let, them, let them do their thing. That's going to work. Okay, yeah. So you got closed off from the end again, low battery. That's the 20, 20% and or the, yeah, the 20% and the 10% timer. Sorry about that. Um, one little painting with, with a little bit of love around to share. Thanks.